where are the salamanders in this winter image? Well, clearly they're somewhere, given that some salamanders, such as dusky and two-line salamanders, have larvae which are aquatic and must find somewhere underwater to overwinter. Since some salamanders, such as dusky, slimy, and two-line salamanders, can live more than four years, since newts are known to live 10 to 15 years, and that since some salamanders have lived more than 20 years, at least in captivity, such as spotted and redback salamanders, clearly these salamanders need some way to survive the winter. Thus, salamanders undergo a form of hibernation, although most biologists don't like to use the term hibernation for animals which are not endotherms or warm-blooded, instead using the term brumation because uh, the overwintering is not a metabolic choice that the body makes, but rather a response to the colder temperatures. And unlike animals which hibernate, salamanders can uh, become active very quickly if uh, the temperature warms. Redback salamanders burrow into leaf litter, rotting wood, rotting tree roots, the crevices between rocks, animal burrows which are abandoned, or even empty ant mounds. They burrow down to avoid the frost line and may go underground say 15 inches or so. Uh, they may actually feed in winter, given that some have had full stomachs in mid-January, and they may overwinter with their mate. Slimy salamanders can burrow into the leaf litter, rotting wood, and rock crevices below the frost line. They do not grow in winter, so presumably they are not active. Like many salamanders, there is no aquatic larval stage, so no stage of the life cycle would overwinter in water. The larvae of northern dusky salamanders overwinter in streams. They may be inactive burrowed uh, under, say, a log or in the stream bottom, or they may be active. Adults may also overwinter in streams, or they can overwinter on land, burrowing into leaf litter, rotting wood, or in rock crevices beneath the frost line, perhaps deeper than one and a half feet. It has been reported that they may feed in winter and remain active. Two-line salamanders are like the northern dusky salamander in that their larvae overwinter in streams, and adults are known to overwinter in streams being found under rocks and presumably active in feeding, while other adults may burrow into the leaf litter or the substrate near the stream, perhaps deeper than a foot. The eastern newt typically has aquatic larvae, but these become juvenile terrestrial Fs before their first winter. Juvenile Fs overwinter in burrows on land, and when they become adults, the adults can also overwinter uh, under leaf litter on land, but they can overwinter in aquatic environments as well. Even under ice, they can remain active and hunt and typically mate in late winter through early spring. So uh, they can be active over the winter, one of the few amphibians which can be. Like other mole salamanders, the family Ambistomidae, the spotted salamanders as adults typically are underground anyway. So in winter, they simply burrow a bit deeper, perhaps 15 inches or so. They will leave the place where they undergo brumation um, in early springs to seek out a vernal pool, a temporary pool, to mate and lay eggs.